I am Angie Ammon, and I am co-founder and CEO of Tesoro. We are building a modern infrastructure platform from the ground up to service SaaS companies that would like to embed financial services into their platform. And we're starting with payments. And before we get into what exactly that means and how we are going to do that, I'd first like to explain why we are doing this and the problems we are going to solve. I started my career managing a local Fifth Third branch in an underbanked area. And the small businesses ran on very thin margins, accepting overdraft fees to float their business expenses. I saw hardworking individuals use a system that quite frankly, wasn't working. And for the last 15 years, I've worked exclusively with embedded payments. I have worked with some of the best SaaS companies, Uber, Toast, and locally Club Essential and have seen the struggles they faced when embedding payments. The hours, the frustration, the confusion, the learning curves, the roadblocks, all to create the next generation of how we consume financial products. So what does that mean today and with Tesoro? Over the last 20 years, we have seen the rise of the internet, the cloud and mobile technologies, which have created the perfect opportunity to modernize the way consumers and businesses manage their finances and conduct business and it started with payments. My team and I actually developed a payment facilitator model that allowed for the success of businesses like Shopify and Square. But the race to embed payments and other services has actually just begun. And the market opportunity is huge. Recent studies have shown that only 8% of payments have moved to an integrated model. It is growing at a two times the rate of the overall market. There are expectations that 40% of all payments will run through SaaS companies in the near future. So what does all that mean? All of this disruption and advancement of FinTech was really the shifting of distribution or sales of payments from banks to technology companies. PayPal, Square, Stripe, all made it easy to accept cards as a form of payment, which had huge benefits to both the cardholder and the small business. But for the technology company that wants to offer these services, it's really hard. And that's because they are all being built on the same disjointed and antiquated infrastructure with high regulatory requirements, multiple vendors, which cause massive roadblocks and delays to the real growth. An example of one of the only companies that is able to overcome these burdens is Uber, my former client at Vantive. We all know how easy Uber is for the passenger to use, but let's think about how the driver gets paid. In the beginning, the only option was a standard ACH that occurred weekly and took several days to reach the driver's bank accounts. When Uber tried to provide a faster way to pay their drivers, they couldn't go to the same bank that they went to for payments. The service wasn't offered. The average Uber driver may fall into an underbanked category or someone who lives paycheck to paycheck in the standard payoff process, they had to wait five days for the funds to hit their account. Imagine if you had an emergency expense, waiting for that money you earn is extremely stressful. Now, what if you could drive all day, make the money you need and get paid instantly? It's life changing. Oh, and now 90% of their drivers do elect to get paid in real time. So why was that so hard? And why is Uber one of the only companies that can do that in today's world? There's no one-stop shop for the branded car or the real-time funds disbursement. Very few companies have the scale to do this. As I walk around my neighborhood, surrounded by my favorite local businesses, I know that by creating a new acquiring infrastructure platform, it will benefit my community and your community multiple times over and will make our cities better places to live. Tesoro was founded with a laser focus on ushering in the next generation of embedded payments. This includes unparalleled speed to market, simplifying all things card payments, offering complete control of the user experience. And this is all being built by the most advanced payment team in the market. Our team comes from Visa, Fifth Third Bank, Dell, Finish Line, Klarna, Phoenix, and more. And we're taking all of that experience and a deep understanding of the problem to build the first new payment processor in over a decade.
Joining us today from Tesoro is Angie, co-founder and CEO. Judges, the floor is yours. Hi, Angie. Thanks for, thanks for being here. Um, I'm curious, uh, as you think about the competitive landscape, obviously a lot of really smart people thinking about payments from Square to incumbents. Um, you know, how, how, what prevents them from launching something that, that could eat your lunch? Thanks, George. Great question. Um, you know, so we want to think about the payments ecosystem, right? Um, a lot of us don't actually think about that. Our card just works, and it's great, right? Um, but when we think about the, the payments ecosystem, there is the networks, there's the acquiring platforms, uh, and you have to be an acquiring bank or an acquiring platform to actually communicate to Visa and MasterCard. Um, Stripe and Square and other companies like that actually sit below an acquiring platform or an acquiring processor. We're actually tackling that acquiring processing layer, right, in order to solve the challenges that they faced 10 plus years ago when they were actually building their platform uh, at that time. This this is maybe a this will be a dumb question. Can you just kind of walk me through what like from you know A to B? A to B as far as what, what the product is. I, okay. I don't know if I quite understood it on that. Great. Personally. Okay, great. So <laughs> <laughs> no, it's actually a great question. Most people are um, cardholders, right? We have a card in our wallet and we know that it works. We have no idea how the other half of that equation works. I think you might, but uh, <laughs> coming from a large acquiring processor. Um, and so just like um, you, so if you think about Visa and MasterCard, right? You have your card in your wallet, but you actually didn't go to Visa and MasterCard to get that. You went to your bank, right? So Visa and MasterCard kind of sit at the top of the ecosystem um, and rule the roost, if you will, right? They set the rules. Um, and they actually only talk to acquiring banks and acquiring processors. So the acquiring bank, like a fifth third, um, is uh, the bank that sponsors that merchant into the ecosystem. So they're the ones that uh, take on the risk, right, and say, you know what, XYZ business, I like you, you're not a bad actor, we're gonna let you into this ecosystem. The technology for that is what's called an acquiring processor. That's what we are actually building. So the existing processors that are out there today, there actually aren't too many of them, right? Fiserv, FIS, they're very large, and quite frankly, they were built during a different time. They were built when businesses still con were conducted, you know, business was still conducted on Main Street, right? Certainly not in an e-commerce environment, and not an environment that we're seeing today where there are third-party processors or marketplaces, right, where there are a technology company providing embedded payment solutions. So we actually believe that the real kind of blocker to the growth of the expansion of the embedded payments market is this underlying ecosystem or acquiring processor that sits out there today that just was built not for our current business models, right? So we're tackling it at that level to build a new acquiring processor built for the modern, you know, embedded financial age. We've got time for one more question. So that's a lot to bite off all at once. It is. Um, when you think about the ability to finance your company mm -hmm. to the point where you can actually start to generate that dollar of revenue, how are you thinking about um, thinking about your path there? What's your roadmap? What's your capital mm -hmm. plan? Yeah, great question. So yes, it is a big undertaking. Our MVP is quite large. <laughs> um, so fortunately, with our team, we are uh, currently able to self-fund uh, the business, um, and we have a team of five right now. Um, half of which are engineers, so they're uh, which have the experience in building payment processing platforms. Um, we plan to look to a pre-seed note early, you know, sometime next year, um, and go the venture capital route beyond that. Wonderful. Well, Angie, thank you for your time. We appreciate you joining us and sharing Tesoro.